Hello my Luminites, it is Ivy and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, hello, my name is Ivy and this channel is all about the mystical, the magical and the supernatural. So if you haven't yet, consider hitting that subscribe button and becoming another member of our growing Luminite family. Also, I do tarot and oracle card readings on etsy.com slash shop slash intuitive IBM if you're interested in getting one of those. So today I have something different. I have a haul for you guys. I went on Amazon and I bought a whole bunch of different decks. To save time, I went ahead and I opened up all the boxes. So if you guys want to see the all the different decks that I just bought, go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, so the first deck that we got is one that is by the Wild, is the same makers that made the Wild Unknown Tarot, which is one of my favorite Oracle, um, Oracle decks, one of my favorite tarot decks. It's absolutely gorgeous. And they made this called the Animal Spirit Deck and Guidebook, the Wild Unknown. So it looks like this. So opening it up. Like this deck has the same illustrations, the same style, same color, same color um, pattern as the uh, Wild Unknown Tarot. So I'm excited for this. It's a huge box, which I don't understand why he puts them in these huge boxes because the deck itself, or at least if it's anything like the tarot deck, we have the guidebook, which is huge. And then we have the um, actual, deck which as you can see is not the biggest <laughs> box compared to this one but I guess it makes it look nicer right um so looking at it I'll go ahead and do some close-ups of them too but I, I love this and it oh it tells you what like element it corresponds with so here's like bear Earthworm. Mouse. So these are all just a different animals, rabbit. And then we have like the different element up here. Let me see, let me look for a different element. It's like this is a different element, the stingray. the fish. I'm assuming these are going to be the water elements. Yep. Uh, starfish. Octopus. If you guys want to see like a detailed flip through on these in a different video, um, go ahead and let me know and I can definitely do that for you. Beaver. Beaver. Beavers are also water animals. They even have oysters. So these are all, it, while it comes with the guidebook, I want to not have to look at the guidebook. I want to be able to use my own intuition and my own inner knowing to um, give me the answers um, from within. That's this one. And the back is so cute because it's like the opposite of the tarot. So if you guys have the tarot deck, it's all black and it has like little white lines. And this is the absolute opposite if we have white backing and then little black lines. So it's so cute. So it's it goes so perfect with the tarot deck. And I'm pretty sure combining these two together is going to give some really powerful, amazing readings. So I'm going to put this off to the side. And we're going to go ahead and open up. We're going to open up this one next. This is the Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling Playing Cards. Um, these are only like $4 or something on Amazon. And I really liked how they look. They're so simplistic, but I have another uh, deck that kind of looks like this. And it's called like the Zodiac cards or something like that. And I always find that they're very on point. And they're pretty specific with their messages. Um, and they're very inexpensive. So while they're not like the cutest or prettiest um, cards, they're still very interesting. So we have like our witch back here. These are, these are jokers, in case you wanted to use them as regular playing cards. Um, but right here we have, this is number 22, and it says, The Book Press 
presages the discovery of mystery affecting the person for the better in the degree governed by distance. So we have your fortune there. Um, right here, number 45, is the order denotes honor and recognition of labor near 48, a sure sign of business success. So this card has symbolizes business success. This is the letter is a good sign of good tidings. When near and when touching indicates unexpected good fortune. So it looks like this, as you can see, they're very simplistic. All the backs have this like cute little witch that's just cooking in her cauldron with her cat behind her. So they're very simple, very simple looking, yet I feel like the messages behind these um, with the other deck that I have is just absolutely powerful and they're always on point. So I love incorporating these kinds of cards to my readings because I feel like they just give a really deep answer. So the next one that I got is Dream Interpretation Oracle Cards. And what I like about this is that it just has like one word and it's more image based. And as you can see, this one says youth, and then we have a female and a male here. And as you can see, there's just so much going on. Even in the background, roots, even in the background, you can just look on it based off of like imagery, you know, like love. And then you can see like a tree growing over here. There's like, like a horse. It's just, there's so much symbolism behind this. We have fighting and it's somebody and then there's like a bigger person, so you can see that this person that's fighting, they feel like they're up there, it's them against the world, or it's them against somebody that's that they feel like they have they have no way of winning over. But they're still trying hard. This is what I get from this card, just this, just this card. But as you can see, there's just so much symbolism behind it. This one says art, and you can see it like coming out. So there's just so much symbolism behind this deck, so much going on in the picture, so much going on in the background. You can just grasp so much just from looking at the picture even if the word wasn't there. Um, and then the backs look like this. So these are absolutely gorgeous. Again, if you want me to show you how each of them look looks just let me know that you want to flip through and I will more than gladly um, do that for you the next cards that I'm going to show you are called Tatiana's fortune cards and I've seen these all over the internet so it looks like this and then it says your fate lies in the cards and then this one I believe too yes has a little guidebook that's stuck to this little thing but what I like about these are first we let's get our fortune cards out so that's how that looks very cute and then here are the actual fortune cards but what I like about them is that it's literally just a picture it's literally just a picture there is no words there is nothing to tell you other than the guidebook of course there is nothing that tells you exactly what it means it's not telling you what the message is it just leaves it up for you to determine based off of your own intuition and your own inner knowing. I really, I'm really drawn to this card. This cloud one has to be like my favorite card that I found online. I have a four leaf clover, this one. The symbolism behind this one's pretty obvious. We have like luck, we have coffin, which could mean the end of something, death, resurrection. We've got a cross here. Um, a cross, I symbolize it with like the hierophant, so it could be any sort of like higher learning, education, uh, religious authority. Um, we have a dog, so I feel like this is like loyalty, friendship, um, companionship. Um, so that is that one. That is Tatiana's uh, fortune cards. Very cute, very cute. I love like the box is huge and it's so pretty. The next one that I got is another one by the same creator, Kim Kronz, which made um, the Wild Unknown Tarot. She also made that animal deck that I just opened up. She also made this one called Archetypes. Opening it up, we got our booklet, which is this big square booklet. Oh, these cards are big. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was not expecting this deck to be this huge. 
Holy ravioli. I was expecting little tiny cards like this, you know? This is big. Like, this is huge. <laughs> this is huge. Like, here's, do you guys have an iPhone? This is, okay, here we go. Almost the size of the phone. Like, these things are pretty big. All right, so looking, oh, it looks like an eyeball. Oh, this looks like an eyeball, look at that. That is so cool. Okay, so first we have the mother, and it is like a golden egg, and it's wrapped up in this nest. Um, and all the backs, yeah, it looks like all the backs have like these diamond backings, which is really cute. Next we have the father, and it is this tree. This tree of like creation and this tree of like the sign of like destruction. This power figure. Powerful. The starborn. So this is oh gosh, these illustrations are a little bit different from the other ones because it combines kind of like realistic like imagery with um her, you know, the little like colorful cartoonish lines. So uh, combining these two, like the realistic and then the more like non-realistic, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's really cute. So we have the eternal child, the crone. Yes, when I'm older, that's what I want to be known as, the crone. I want to be known, I want them to call me the crone or the hag. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I want my nickname to be when I'm old. It's just so different. Like, the shape is, like, circular, which is new for me. Um, I think all my other cards are either rectangle or, like, square. Um, so this is, like, the first circular uh, deck that I got. Okay, so lastly, we got a... This is technically considered a game it's called a mind reading game called medium um this is also supposed to help with your intuition but um there's so many like different objects in like phrases here that i feel like i've even seen like star girl the practical witch use these cards in her pick a card readings um so i want to be able to use them for both for uh strengthening intuition and intuition based learning as well as using them in my readings so it looks like this and it is called medium it's only on it's only like 12 dollars on amazon by the way right now you guys um and then we got the rule book here so this is like if you want to play the game if you want to play the game there's like a whole bunch of like stickers or not stickers they're like these things that you like punch out look like this and the back the back of them so front it has those eyeballs and the back it has numbers and then we have the actual cards um the actual like oracle cards and you get four different ones here there you have like this one has captain this one has machine this one has astronaut and then this one has a river so all the backs look like this I say medium so this one says river, train, beautiful. So they are very flimsy, just letting you guys know, very, very flimsy, beautiful, chip, ant, table. So that's how it looks. So you can see it's just one word, no illustrations, nothing like that. You can leave it all to your own intuition. And so it's, I feel like this is a really good, if you wanted to use it as a game, you can use it for intuition training, or you can always use it for, with oracle card readings, if you are a oracle or tarot card reader. Well, that is it. Um, if you guys have any further questions, feel free to let me know. If you guys want me to do a flip through on any of these or a review on any of these, also let me know. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Um, and consider hitting that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet to become another member of our growing Luminite family. Thank you so much for watching.